The pepper steak Del Rey, I named it after the first time I had a pepper steak that I really love. It is a wonderful throwback restaurant that features continental cuisine. And I loved it, and it was one of those flavor combinations that lasted me throughout the years, all the way until I opened up Kispaka and I got a chance to recreate it. Most of my inspiration don't necessarily come from here, but they come from my experience eating out at different restaurants. There's a Southern California iconic restaurant that's called the Dal Rey. One of my favorite things at the restaurant is the Dal Rey pepper steak. As soon as I saw this pepper steak on the menu, I ordered it and I became a fan. Such a fan that I brought it back to Kispaka and put my version of it on the menu. We're using the rib cap from West Home Wagyu Beef. I like to think of that rib cap as a butcher's cut. I call it a butcher's cut because first of all, there's not many of that cut available, but also because I like to think about the butcher as he's butchering his cow, that he reserves that cap for himself and maybe sharing it with his family because it's such a flavorful, delicious cut. And I think it's perfect for the pepper steak. So let's begin. This steak is not marinated and it's not rubbed. It's just simply seasoned with salt, coarse black pepper, and a nice amount. When I think of a pepper steak, I guess I think of a steak with a pepper sauce, but their version was just so brilliant. Plus, it's really beautiful. Just the mound of flavor packed on top. The other thing I love about putting a steak such as the Dal Rey on my menu is I love food with a story. So when I can tell a story along with the food, not only does it make something more personal, it also makes the customer a little bit more interested. I give full credit to the inspiration. Now look at, I've really made it my own, but it's still the Dal Rey inspiration. And I love calling it, I love crediting it, and I just love the idea that even chefs are inspired by other people. And I think that that's an important part of the message. So all those scallions cook down, and then I'm gonna run down the line of my mise en place. Taste this, Liz. Not bad. Not bad? Not bad is not good enough. Good. <laughs> okay, there we go. This is not a filet. We're gonna actually slice it up. Yeah. And I'm always looking to eat at restaurants that have some sort of similarity into what I'm doing for inspiration and education. Dal Rey, eat your heart out.